I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the phases of the moon. Now today we're making a chart. So we're going to draw first, label, and then color. Okay, down here right in the center I'm going to put a big curve line up, over, and down. And starting over here on the left I'm going to draw one, put a dot, two, put a dot, three, put a dot, four, put a dot, five, put a dot, six, put a dot, seven, put a dot, eight, baby circles. Now you'll notice that this is going in an arc. The moon moves in an arc. I come over here on the left hand side and I draw a big curve line up and over and at the end I draw a triangle. Then I come on the inside and I draw a big curve line down and I put another triangle. Okay? I come back to each one of my baby circles and inside I'm just going to draw baby baby circles. There's no pattern. You can draw big ones, you can draw little ones, it doesn't matter. We're just filling in each of the space with these baby circles all the way across and down. Okay? Some of you will want to do yours better than I'm doing, which is fine. Some of you will think, okay, I can do that. All right. Now, I think, yes, we are ready to start labeling. This down here is the Earth. And we start over here with our first phase, and that is the new moon. We come up and we label this the crescent moon. We come up and we do the first quarter. We come up again and this is the gibbous. Now, when we are going from the new moon going up, that is the waxing moon. Okay, you're getting to see more and more of the actual moon. Once we hit this phase, this is the full moon. And the full moon now begins the downward arc and that is called the waning moons. I should say waning phases. And they go exactly like we just had. After the full moon, now we have the gibbous. Then we have the last quarter. And then we end with the crescent. When you talk about these phases going up, you would say, oh, the waxing crescent, the waxing first quarter, the waxing gibbous. Then you hit the full. Coming down, you're hitting the waning gibbous, the waning last quarter, and the waning crescent. Okay. Now we're going to come back and inside the crescent moon, starting here, we're just going to draw a curved line and connect. First quarter goes straight down, connect. Gibbous comes on the left hand side with a, with a sliver. Full moon we leave alone. Now we go the opposite. Gibbous now coming on the waning moon we draw a crescent going, curve line going down. Last quarter we do a cur uh, straight line going down. And now the crescent we draw a curved line going in connect. Okay, 
Let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, I'm going to use my purple crayon for my moon phases, but I'm going to use red for my arrowheads. And that's because these are important terms. Waxing and waning are important to know. Waxing means more, waning means less. And basically, because the moon rotates around the earth, the closer to the sun, we see less. Far away from the sun, we see more. So we're going to start with the new moon, and it's pretty much darkened out. So I'm going to lightly color it with my purple. Then I come up to the crescent, and I'm starting to have that darker part of the moon phase break through with this crescent of the white of the moon showing. I go up to first quarter and on the left hand side of that line this now becomes less darkened and more you can see more and then when I get to gibbous the little sliver is almost gone and we're starting to see more of the moon because then boom we hit the full moon and you see the whole entire part of it. Now going back down waning we're going to do the opposite. So gibbous, whereas on this side was colored in, now we color in the opposite side. This becomes gibbous. You still can see. Last quarter we color the right hand side. And crescent we color this section. And as it moves it way, its way over to new, you're going to come back with a whole colored moon face. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my phases of the moon all colored in. Because this is a chart, you want to emphasize your actual labeling and the actual phases of the moon. So I wouldn't put stars or rockets or aliens in there quite yet. Okay, bye-bye.